Hi, this is Eric, and we're going to take a look today at how to create assessments with the Pearson Test Maker feature. This is something that's uh, pretty easy to do. After you log in to Pearson SuccessNet and you're on your home page, you might want to hover over the Planning tab and slide down and over to where it says My Tests, because you're going to make a test, so it'll be your test. You might want to give something a little tougher than a quick check and maybe a little uh, less comprehensive than a topic test. So this would be good for that. Um, you could see I've got some things in my test list. You might not have that yet. Uh, what you're going to do is slide over to the right side of the screen under success tracker here and you can see where it says build new test. Just click that and we'll have to start naming. Let's try a uh, topic oh, seven quiz. Just a quickie little thing there and you could type in any kind of description that you need. The items will be based on Common Core Grade 4 skills in this drop-down menu. There's nothing that you need to change there. Uh, do you want the, to let the computer pick the questions? Well, you could go ahead and, and do that. Uh, pick the number that you want and let the computer pick them out. Or maybe you want to choose them yourself. I kind of like picking them myself. It's fun to see. And uh, do you want questions that can only be scored automatically on the computer. Yeah, that's pretty convenient because then you can assign the assessment to your students electronically. Otherwise, you might want to click the other radio button and maybe you can get some of those explain questions uh, added. But uh, let's do uh, picking the questions myself and uh, automatic scoring. Click next to the next step. Of course, we're looking for math. Grade four is probably a good choice for us. So we'll click on go and look at all these topics. I'm just going to focus on topic seven for an example today. So I'll click that. And if you wanted to, you could pick multiple topics, for example, and uh, click next. Here we go. Uh, what part of topic seven do I want to write this assessment for? Well, if I wanted all of them, I could click the button at the top of the column, but I'm not really looking for that. I just want to concentrate on uh, using mental math. So I want to just focus on 7-2 here. And you can see on the right side here, there's a column that says available items. There are quite a few items related to 7-2 using mental math. If uh, I wanted to do something a little easier, maybe 7-1 uh, would be the way to go with only eight available items. But uh, let's go ahead and click Next. And as I scroll down in this column on the left, you'll see that there are, in fact, 20 items. Go up to item 20. Do I want to include all 20 of these items? Probably not. Maybe I only want 10. So let's uh, narrow some of them down. I'm going to look at each one. I'm probably going to have to scroll down to see all the answers. And I can confirm that it's from 7-2 by looking underneath the answer choices. I can click on reject the item if I don't like that one. If I want to select an item, I will simply select the item. If I think this is a good one, I might click on that. And you can see there's a green check mark next to item 2. If I scroll back here, item one has a red X next to it because I re had rejected that one. If I change my mind, I can click back on it to see the question again, the item, and then uh, select or reject it as necessary. So I go on down and take a look at the different questions. Uh, that looks like a good one. I'll select that. Item five. Let me just skip one there. I like that one. I'll select that. I'm how many questions am I up to? Gosh, I don't know. Oh, look right here, it tells me. Total selected items, three. I'm looking for 10. So let's go to item 10. Oh, that's a nice challenging one. I'll select that. Item 14. Oh, that's another good one. Let's select that. And oh, love these, 15's good. Straight computation. Let's get another one of those in. Ooh, more computation, mental math. We love those. Kind of get some problem solving in, so 18. And 19. There we go. Now we've got 10 items. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click Finish and Preview. And there it is. It's building my test. I can scroll down to see all the questions and their answer choices. Oh, that's nice. I can view a summary. This is good to print because it'll give you the numbers and the correct answers. Okay, and you can see there's a print button down here when you scroll. I'll go ahead and close that window. I don't need that right now. Do I want to view the online version? Not really. It's what uh, the kids see when they take the test, but if you want to see it, 
go ahead. Uh, paper version, PDF, clicking on that gives me the typical PDF window where I can uh, save it or uh, print it right from here. Saving's a good idea if you want to keep it on your H drive or in the cloud. That's not a bad choice. I'm going to go ahead and close that window for now. Uh, I think we did see the summary already. What do I want to do? Well, I want the kids to take it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and assign it. Click Assign. Do I want to include enrichment and remediation? Probably not for something quick like this, so I'll uncheck those. Are my dates correct? Is that long enough to give the kids? Yep. And uh, do I want every student to have it? Maybe, so I can click the top of the column there. They're already selected. But if I only want a few, because maybe this is just for a small group, uncheck that and select the kids that you'd like to give it to. And then once you click Save, those students will receive that in their to-do list. Okay. I'll save them the, the pain of that. I won't give that to those poor kids now. But that's uh, the quick and easy way to create assessments with the Pearson Test Maker feature. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'd love to help you out.